Hi there and welcome back. In our previous video, we implemented an add item form component in our front end and we used Axios Post to send the GET request, but we didn't have the post middleware implemented. In this video, we're going to implement the post middleware in our backend service. So let's get started. Already, okay, so let's call this uh, get all items and um, let's create one item now. Okay, so for that, I'm going to use the router and uh, use the post middleware. I'm gonna mount it on slash and uh, implement my callback function with request and response and all right, so what I'm gonna do here is deconstruct the request body to get name but I think I need to change the way I, I'm passing the new item uh, in my component. So here I'm gonna add name of new item. Okay, so I'm passing that object so I can just construct it. And now what I'm gonna do is actually create a query object. Uh, this is gonna be equal to inserting two items, variables of ID, name, and completed. And we're gonna pass values of just like we did before UI ID function, and then question mark and question mark to say, uh, these are my parameters I need to add to, to my query later. I, I don't need the sunny column here. So, okay, uh, and then I'm going to uh, okay, execute uh, cluster.execute uh, the query, and I'm gonna pass my parameters. I'm gonna have name as parameter and also false, which is the completed um, and since it's an asynchronous function, I'm gonna add a wait and async here. And what I'm gonna do is assign everything to a result uh, variable and uh, uh, response the status 200, and I'm gonna send the result. Okay, so what we've done here is actually basically have our post middleware here, and we have our front end, and what I'm gonna do is uh, create a new item that I'm gonna call, um, um, let's say cycle for one hour. Okay, I'm gonna add it. Oops, nothing happens in my front end, uh, but that's expected. So let's go back to uh, my API and I can see that it was, that cycle for one hour was probably added. Um, so what happens here? So again, I need to update my front end. And the, re the reason for that is that there is no direct way for the front end to know that I added uh, a new item. So if I refresh here, I can clearly see the data, but I will. I need to let the front end know that I actually have a new item. So there are several ways to do it. Here, um, we're cheating a little bit. We're just setting items. Um, we're just adding uh, an extra item. So the newly added item to uh, the item state. Uh, and for that, I'll, I'll use some ES6. So um, I'll use uh, dot, 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 items, and I'm going to add the newly added item. So name new item and completed a false. And uh, I will add uh, an ID here, um, um, not for React to throw any error. I'm gonna add an ID of one, but of course this is uh, not a good approach. Uh, we're gonna change it later. Uh, I'm also going to um, make sure that I have an await here and an async, so uh, uh, to make sure that everything works uh, uh, properly and I'm gonna have my result and for now all I'm gonna do is console log my result and see what it contains okay so if I'm, uh, I'm going to add a new item read my book let's add it okay I have it in my front end and I have the, the data back um, but if you can see the data I the I, I don't have an ID there um, let me actually look for it ID, um, I, I, I can't find it anywhere. So uh, one way to solve that is get back to my items and actually generate an ID before uh, creating the uh, item. So if here I'm gonna use Cassandra types UI ID and basically here what I'm, what I'm gonna do is generate the ID before um, inserting and sending it um, to the front end. I'm gonna use the random function um, and, and remove the UI ID function and just pass ID and pass the ID along with the result. 
All right, so if I read another book, okay, uh, great. I have a new object and if I go to the data, I can see my ID, so the newly generated ID and that's uh, what I'm expecting. So now that I have an ID, then I can actually add it to my front end and uh, because we're using it uh, in items.map um, to render all the items. So I'm gonna change this to response and actually I don't need the uh, console log. And I'm going to set ID to response.data.id. So this is it to handle post requests. In the next video, we'll see how to handle deletes. All right, perfect, so I'll see you in the next one.